Well, this is the soldered Trinket Pro bag movement alarm. I've incorporated the uh, the Trinket Pro into it, soldered it on, as well as soldered on the, the buttons so that you can actually uh, uh, input it. Um, so if you were to uh, press the button here and you press and hold, and you wait until the LEDs come on to indicate that it's on, it's now flashing, so I enter the code, which is currently one, two, three, four. That gives some time frame so that you can set it stationary. So you set it down stationary. And once it's stationary, um, it just sort of sits there watching the accelerometer. So now if you move it a little bit, you'll see that the LED lights up there, indicating that movement. So if you put it back stationary, that's fine. But if you move it enough, it'll eventually get to the point where it sets off the alarm. Now, to get the alarm off, pressing any of these buttons doesn't work unless you press in the right code. So one, two, three, four, and then that shuts it off and then it shuts off the the drink the the whole system so a couple other pieces of uh, user um, pieces is our user interaction if you press and hold and then it comes on if you don't press your code in the first 10 seconds because that is flashing um, what happens is the uh, the whole uh, system just shuts itself off because it, uh, it basically it, uh, infers that it's been an accidental press. So needing to enter your code in at the beginning is to uh, prevent accidental turn-ons while it's sitting in a bag, as well as to uh, ensure that you know the code before you, uh, before you set the alarm. Uh, the second element is, is if you uh, turn it on, and then you enter in the, uh, the code to, uh, to give yourself the time to set it stationary. Right now it's set to seven seconds, although in the, the final version I will, uh, will change that. So now it's stationary. So now if I were to press in the code, so then it turns on and it flashes and now it shuts off. So instead of, uh, so now it's completely off. Uh, so instead of you setting off the alarm when you pick up the, the device um, and needing to set off the alarm before typing in, you can actually um, enter in the code and that will just shut off the alarm. Um, so one other piece is, is that right now this is a brand new uh, battery, but if I were to uh, replace it with a used battery that I have uh, lying around, so this is a low voltage, um, if you press and hold and wait for it to turn on again, um, then this uh, yellow LED here indicates that uh, your battery is low. It's a low battery uh, voltage warning. Uh, so there you go. So that's the that's the whole circuit. Um, you've got the Trinket Pro, the accelerometer, um, the speaker right here, uh, the series of buttons and LEDs. You've got a series of transistors for power control. That's for both the speaker as well as for controlling the power to the Trinket Pro. And then down here you've got the uh, current limiting resistors for the LEDs as well as a small little circuit for uh, the battery monitor circuit. So that's the Trinket Pro battery movement alarm in action. Uh, the next step is I'm going to incorporate that into this uh, project box. So the project box comes across and that is going to go in, uh, in here. And this uh, perf board just slots, uh, slots right, in, uh, uh, right in there. So it's just gonna fit in right there with this on the other the other side there. So that's the next step is to uh, incorporate that on a final basis.